recommendations for books to read during sweater weather. And I know like in the States, it's already um, summer, but here in the Philippines, it's rainy season. So it just got me in the mood to start recommending some books that I feel would match like the rainy season and the sweater weather um, ambiance of the uh, weather. So here we go. The first book I'm going to recommend is J.R. Tolkien's The Smith of Wootan Major and Farmer Giles of Ham. This is actually very, very cute. It also has some illustrations. It's a quick read if you just want a nice, comfortable afternoon or like nighttime with the rain in the background. And it's a really nice, like, children's story. Um, so, yeah, that's the first one. The second book, I've recommended this before for like fall, but. Um, I just can't help recommending this again because if you haven't read it and I haven't really heard about this talked a lot on um, booktube so I'm gonna just recommend it again and that is The 13th Tale by Diane Setterfield. It's so good. Um, it's, it's a mystery slash um, basically I really like books based in Britain to read during rainy season. So this is, I think, in Britain or England, and it's about a mystery about this writer, and she has like um, a mystery of her past. So that's very, very interesting. And it's also, if you haven't picked this up before, you really should pick it up. The next one I'm going to recommend is for middle grade, and that is the Peculiar, Peculiar, by Stephen Bachman. It's um, it's been a while since I read this. I also know it was blurred by Christopher Paolini, who wrote Aragon. But what I remember of this is it's a um, it's about fairies, I believe, um, and sort of steampunkish type things. Um, I just remember I really enjoyed reading this, and then I could wait my to get my hands on the second book, but I can't find it anywhere. So, yeah, this is a good one for like a rainy day read, because like you know, dark stories about fairies are just what you need during the rainy season. And then um, the next one is a Cornelia Funk book, Funke, Funk, and that is The Thief Lord. <laughs> and I just find something really romantic and comfy about um, magical realism in a Venetian city, you know, in Italy. And it has like, it's just, you know, how much more sweater weather comfy can you get besides that? It's really cool. And besides, you know, there's usually a lot of stories about based in like England or America, but not a lot in Italy or different or in like Paris, but you, yeah, not a lot in Italy. It's, oh wait, oops, is Venice in Italy? Crap. Oh. Oops. Well, you know, that. Just, you know, tell me where that is because I really don't feel like looking it up right now. And then the next one. Um, I'm moving on to sort of classics for a rainy day, but these are short classics. So um, the first of three is Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, um, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, and Frankenstein by, by Marie Shelley. Mary Shelley. And these are all obviously very tiny, short classics, and um, they're all perfect for the sweater weather rainy day type read actually you could even finish uh, dr. Jekyll and mr. Hyde right before you go to sleep like I was reading this an hour this only took me an hour to finish because it's so tiny um, and then I was able I've actually fell asleep to this during or like on a rainy day so that was actually one of the reasons why I picked this and um, the rest sort of go with go without saying this is a fun children's book this is like horror sci-fi but it's really more of a philosophy type of a book and then we have the of course I guess it's classified as horror or something so yeah Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and then the next one if you're if you're experiencing many rainy days in a season of rainy days or like well yeah just you know sweater weather that would be, I only, I haven't read this yet, but I've been sort of trying to get into it, but it's just so thick. It's 800 pages, and that is, I watched a television show of this, 
and that is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell by Susanna Clark. Um, based off of the um, reviews and watching the show, I can say that this is a ve this is gonna take you a while to read, but at the same time, like to just dive into something dark and magical during the rainy season or during like a rainy day sounds sounds like a really really good relaxing time and the last two shouldn't really come as a surprise but um they match sweater weather perfectly and that would be um the graveyard book by neil gaiman and ocean at the end of the lane by neil gaiman he has the perfect blend of um fantasy and magic and um like storytelling that just goes so well in these books if you read it during the proper weather and that would be like at around rainy season which is here in the philippines which is now but i've already read these so yeah that's it these are the uh books that i recommend for the rainy season or slash sweater weather and um, if you've read any of these, let me know down in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you guys next time. Uh.